Jeff Graham with After Buzz TV, and I'm here with the meter, who, of course, you guys know from Green Book. If I remember right, you played the bass in the movie, is that correct? The cello player. The cello, almost. It was a string instrument. I was close. So what was it like working so closely with Mahershala Ali? Uh, with him, it's not working. Yeah. It's a friendship. Mm -hmm. This is the person that any actor dreams to be a partner forever, and not only just a friend forever. And this person... You know what, what I found out? The bigger the star, the easier to work with is. <laughs> I love that. It's so reassuring to hear when you're a fan of, you know, these big A-list actors, you hope that they're as great in person as they are on screen, and it sounds like that's the case with him. With Mahershal especially, it, he's such a... He's like a clockmaker, so precise with everything. And the first thing he does when he walks on set, it's not about going to do his thing. He comes to the co-stars and wow. makes sure we're okay. Make sure we're fine. He gives this wonderful hug. Then at the end, and after each take, are you okay with it? Are you okay with it? Is everything okay? I love it. Amazing, amazing. Yes, I. Vigo, it's a different story. Uh oh. <laughs> Tell us about Vigo. <laughs> well, he's the cool guy. Yeah. He is the guy you hang out with. Yeah. And we actually quite a bit hang out together in this little dive bar in New Orleans. Wow. Because we happen to be the only two in the whole cast of smoke. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, the red wine, both Europeans in a way. So. Of course, of course. So it, with him, it's totally different. With him, it's about connecting with you in a personal level first. Huh. And you can imagine, I mean, his transformation in this film is quite a bit. Yeah. And the one thing about Vigo that I learned getting to know him personal level, he is playing the absolute opposite of himself. And for him, that was the struggle and the beauty of it. Wow. That he can go out there and say, this is what I believe, this is what I think, and I'm going to play the opposite. So it, it, it was very different with him. And it's all about the joke, the right. improv. Yeah. He loves to improv, and Peter was having a hard time not being funny. I'm sure. Well, Peter's a comic director. So well, first of all, what was it like working with Peter Frelli? And do you... Do you feel like his influence as a comic director affected the way he directed you guys, or did he approach this project differently than he might have another project? Absolutely differently. I haven't, uh, haven't had the honor to work with him before, yeah. but I knew all his comedy and I was expecting, okay, the script has these funny stories in, but they're not really funny, it's just the way life is. Right. And then the opposites, and Peter, knowing that that's his big moment, doing serious stuff so free wow. so open-minded there is no actor in my small young career that have given me so much freedom oh, wow. and the, his directing is literally not even directing it's like all right let's think about it hmm. propose to me let me see let's talk about it and it was so easy and this I think his secret of all is that freedom Wow. Okay. And giving you that freedom, we all all of a sudden became part of his vision hmm. without even thinking about it. It was amazing. That.